everyone welcome Hello. back to my channel as you all know this is my partner dimitri uh he has his own channel called dimitri reyes poet and he's joining me today because it is our 10 year anniversary that's right 10 years ten unmarried whole AF. Years. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna do this cute little tag that we found on the internet on the interwebs um, so basically it asks a question who is who is who is and i made these cute ass signs for free with my name on it boom and dimitri's name on it so we can vote on who hey i got it to set my work. i wasn't able to do it <laughs> a skewer would work um so yeah and then we just get to vote on who we think is more likely to do whatever the question asks yeah how do you feel about doing this some of the questions are very silly and beneath me, but I think I'll do them anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yeah. I just, we should just do it. Yeah. We should just do it. So let's start. I have to maintain one. composure though. Yeah. Calm down. Channel. Okay. Right. Cause he be wanting to get real loose on my channel cause his channel is so professional and when he comes over, he wants want to be, be myself. <laughs> I just want to be myself. Okay. The first question is, who is up first thing in the morning? What? Oh, uh, wait. So I yeah, read that wrong. Do, yeah. Use your English. Who is up first in the morning? Is what that says. Here. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally agree. Yeah. You put mine. Oh. <laughs> no. What I, what I meant was I'm me. Also, <laughs> um, yeah, no. I'm definitely up first. I wake up anywhere from like 6.15. To like 8 15. I go to sleep anywhere yeah. from like 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. So technically you I'm technically up wake up first. first. Yeah. Well you don't yeah you're up first in the right. morning afternoon yeah, yeah but yeah he wakes up first traditionally. Yeah. Okay the second question who takes longer to get ready? Today. Yeah I would say me. Today. Only because of the anxiety I have to make sure that I empty out the drains and stuff before we head out anywhere so i'm kind of just waiting around a lot for that to happen uh but like to get ready i don't wear makeup i don't do my hair i my clothes are all black yeah it's just it's a it's a process it's an anxiety to leave. thing it's a process to yeah. leave and everything has to be spick and span clean yeah. before we leave uh drop a comment down below if anyone feels like they have to have their house completely clean before they leave um, I know, actually, uh, Paula, a friend of ours, she has to clean her space before we're, she We're in her too. space right now, Yeah, actually. we're actually house-sitting for her. And cat-sitting. And cat-sitting, cat yeah. So yeah. she always, even if she just leaves for, like, a grocery store visit, she's told me that she has to have, leave the house sparkly clean. Yeah, that's how and, I feel, too. Yeah, it's so funny. Just stuff everything under a rug. Terrible. Okay, who apologizes first after an argument? Me. Oh. I'm supposed to be doing this. I don't have anything to say about this. Uh, I don't know. We definitely, I'm usually the one to say sorry for anything that I do. I don't know how you'd be feeling about that kind of stuff. First of all, I'm going to say this. I don't really feel like Demetri and I argue at this point because I don't even be here for the S-H-I-T-S. -S. I don't even be here for all of that. Um, that's number one. If Demetri's going and he's about to start, I'd be just like... Sorry. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, see, but that's that's okay, that's like yeah. that that's, and then I'm like, you that's know a what? response. If you're gonna be attitude, just walk away from me because like I don't even need all this right now. Yeah. I don't even we, want all this energy. That's kinda how I am. We uh we we've learned how to bypass arguing. I would still say that we have like disagreements that if you didn't like just say, Okay, we're not gonna argue about this, it would be an argument. And I think an argument's kinda like a discussion for us. I think an argument is like a lot of going back and forth maybe with some screaming and frustration and kind of anger yeah like slamming things and stuff like that and i just i don't even do all of that no more i'll tell you this though we've had our long hours long discussions, yeah, discussions about things yeah, for sure. and i would i That's would probably it's healthier i would probably just change this to who apologizes first after a discussion and in that case it's usually me what i have no examples i'm sorry <laughs> i i Anyway, I think we're spending a lot of time on this one, but I feel like just this past week I apologized for something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did apologize for something. What? Um, I, was, I was acting with, with toxic masculinity. Remember? The question, the, the question about, well, you know, if it was so easy to make money, like, why don't you try to make some of that money and see how hard it is to step into my shoes? Mm -hmm. I was being insensitive there. 
Oh, because like yeah. really a lot of what our discussions are about is the fact that Dimitri says yes to everything and he like he works too much and he never like says no to anyone asking him for favors or doing whatever. And we've had a few weeks during quarantine where he's just been like disgustingly busy. Like, I mean, you guys like don't even know what it, what it's like to be with somebody who's like on the phone and computer all day doing stuff for people all day long every single day like I'm talking about till like 12 a.m. at night and I'm just like I'm just looking at him like that's disgustingly busy and I and I resent it and so um he's like oh I'm trying to make all this money because like let me stop being like immature but <laughs> he's like oh I'm trying to make all this money so that like we could have a down payment and like get a house and I'm just like sir you're not trying to do that you're just saying yes to every opportunity no matter how little it pays and no matter how much sense it does it make and then he was like well then if it's so easy then you start picking up this life and you make money you you and i'm like anything that i would do what is, what if one of the cats are doing anything that i would do would never amount to the amount of money that dimitri makes like never with his this patreon account with anything that he does like when i think mm-hmm. about it's like I might as well help him do everything on his site than, than even messing with my stuff because my stuff doesn't make as much money as his stuff. And that's kind of what that argument, well, not that argument, but that discussion was about. I Got didn't it. Say, I didn't say anything. <laughs> you ain't uh-huh. got nobody. <laughs> the next question is, who said I love you first? I remember me saying, I, oh, I'm not we doing this fight. game right. Okay, so we both agreed. I promise I'm going to get better at this game. So yeah, I said I love you first. Uh, we were very, very young. I was 17. You were 17 still. You weren't 18 yet. Well, right, yeah, about yeah. to be 18. You are about to be 18, yeah. And uh, I said it first, and then automatically I was like, oh, man, I shouldn't have said that. And then your words were... Nah, like, if that's how you feel, Ooh. how you really feel, tell she us. She was tell smooth? Us. Oh, my God, you were so smooth. <laughs> yeah, so I said it first, and then you said it back. Yeah. Yeah. You're a player. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were, you were a player. You were, you were just in there, like, just... Okay, so who mentioned marriage first? Okay. Okay, so I didn't even... Know. This so, is an option. So we were really young at the okay. time, and if you guys know how, like, Latinx households work sometimes, I feel like... When, when you're together at a young age, people start saying to you, like, oh, when are you going to have babies? When are you going to get married? When are you going to have, like, grandkids? Bring me great-grandkids. Bring me this, bring me that. Like, they, they put all that pressure on you in, in this culture, and I'm just like, girl, I, I don't, none of the above. And at the time, I didn't believe in marriage, like, for the longest time ever. I didn't, like, really believe in marriage until about three years ago. Um, Hence why I was the one that said I thought about it first, because I did bring it up. But I always brought it up as like, you know, when it was time to have that conversation and have a discussion and not an argument, I I would have it. But, you know, we were really young. We were still trying to set up our lives and stuff like college happened, agoraphobia happened, all this kind of stuff. So I always knew it was kind of on the wayside. Uh, But I was going to get here. And then a couple years ago, you started thinking about it. Yeah. And it's um, like I still don't really believe in marriage maybe the way other people think about it but i believe in it for like a law way you know what i'm saying like i feel like you can be married without being married okay like you could have a very serious committed relationship even even more committed than people that are in marriages um and you can just say like this is my the my like my life partner the person i'm gonna be with forever but now i see that that's not really the purpose of marriage like kind of the other benefits or purpose of marriage are the legal benefits of Mm -hmm. like you being able to say what happens if your partner dies or um you having a right to the the things that you guys both built together Mm -hmm. so it's kind of like a safety net for the husband or wife Mm -hmm. or you know whatever and that's kind of where it kind of brought me on the bandwagon like oh yeah now that we are now that we're getting older i see that those are important things Mm -hmm. but before i was like oh people are kind of just saying like you could only be committed if it's by law. And I'm like, girl, bye. But now that I'm older, I see that that's not the point. Yeah, I agree. So I think he brought it up more in the traditional sense first. And I was like, nah, nah, I don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. Mm-hmm. I'm about it. Yeah. Okay, so now this one is, who makes all the decisions slash wears the pants in the relationship? Oh, that's BS. That is total BS. Someone's not taking responsibility here. 
Who is it? I don't really feel like these are yes or no questions. They're not. I don't I mean, really feel like these are Dimitri just sitting questions because I'm going to say I think that Dimitri makes a lot of the weighted decisions more. You make a lot of the, the weighted, biggest, most important decisions. And I make all the, like, all the smaller mm. decisions that happen more frequently. You understand? I, I do. I think I make the bigger decisions that might be a little overwhelming. Right? Like, um, let's say if we're stuck in the middle of nowhere and we have to see if we're going to, like, try to find a place to stay or get an uber somewhere or or, you know like a car breaks down do we call a tow truck or do i look up a youtube video and i sit there for a long time yeah those are the kind of decisions that kind of rest on me yeah when the van broke down yeah but i i actually feel like a lot of our decisions and we've talked about this before rely on our budget and, and what we could afford and what we want to make room for, what we want to invest to. And I think that defers to you a lot of the time. I think for me, like, I, I do all the budget stuff clearly. You see the channel. I'm, I'm like the person that controls the budget. I'm the person that controls the diet. And I'm the person mm-hmm. that controls um, the living situation. And that's like four-fifths of our entire life. Like, you know, we need to be, shel- we need to be sheltered. We need to be fed. And what was the other thing? Oh, we need to be making money. Yeah. 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 So, and that's all, like, that falls in your regard. So, even if I wanted to make some bigger decisions, like, I really trust you in terms of you saying if we have the monetary, like, I guess, way that we can navigate that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I feel like we collaborate on that as well. It's a collaboration. So, the collaborations are these... Yeah, do so these mean collaboration? I just kind of do half, 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 half when it's both, or I don't even know. What the... Okay. Can we just do like... I am cheating. I just threw it. Oh, wait, this okay. is like my DIY. Next question is, who is the messiest? Ooh, child. Messy, messy, messy. My problem, and I wouldn't even say I'm that messy. I actually think I'm c- quite clean. I just don't pick up after myself. Yeah. You know, I like wiping things down. I like mopping. You get into it before I do. Zoom into this right now. Uh, I also like sweeping. And I like scrubbing things, right? Like I clean the shower. He's starting to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I do things. No, Dimitri's messy because like... If I take out my projects, like my painting supplies or my sewing equipment, I will put it back. Okay, oh, I'm done I with know it where and this I'll is put going. it back. I'll make a big ass mess. Okay, I'll put, I'll spread everything all over the floor, like when I'm sewing. But I'll put it all away. But Which, like, by the way, it doesn't bother me. But Dimitri, it doesn't bother me. Dimitri, on the other hand, he um, when he's working in the day, he sits at the desk. He sits on the side of the desk where the counter is. He sits in the window. He sits on the floor. He sits on the bed. And it's like you'll see yeah, I know this conversation. pencils and paper yeah. and notebooks trailing all about. It's like a tornado. It's a crime this scene. Is, this is a different video, though, because that's my artistic process. You know? Like, there, there's a studying process. There's a sitting process. There's a standing process because I've been sitting for too long. I know, but you could take the stuff with you. You, 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 can't, you can't lose that moment. Any of you artists out there, you know you can't lose that moment, right? Or even not, not being an artist, like just trying to remember something. You got to stop someone in a conversation because you're trying to remember something. That's me. Okay, so anyways, the next one, Dimitri's the most messy, okay? <laughs> the next one is who is more into <clears throat> their looks? Okay, no, I, I, I have a reason for this one. I had to think about it. I think we're both equally insecure okay. slash equally comfortable. Uh-huh. Like, in a way, I feel like we both don't really care on a daily basis how we look. Like, I just... Well, especially in quarantine. I just, just braided home. my hair. I'm braided it. I have no makeup on. I'm wearing a black t-shirt, a sports bra, shorts. Like, this is pretty much how I look every single day. I don't I only have this this as jewelry I don't have like earrings or anything else and mm-hmm. then like you threw your hair up in a bun you have he has like 10 button ups or like you know five seven, five, five button ups mm-hmm. and just shorts mm-hmm. or pants he doesn't really do his hair just throw it up doesn't really do his beard 
No, it's just he there. He never takes all these earrings. They're just there. So it's just like, on a daily basis, we don't care. But I think internally, we care. Like, we're insecure about things. I will say this, though. You think about your wardrobe way more than I do. Yeah. And you have several sketches of different wardrobes that you would like to have oh, yeah, yeah, on I the do. cheap cheap. I draw out capsule wardrobes. And you even go the length of even trying to do that to my wardrobe. Yeah. So I think you care about it more. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it is important. <laughs> it is important. But... Mm -hmm. I, I think it, it's this instead of this because literally I have five button ups and I don't think about what my wardrobe is like. I just throw some pants or shorts on and then just one of these button ups. If not, I just live in a t-shirt. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Where I think about it more. Mm -hmm. You yeah. do. Yeah. Okay, so I guess me then. Anyways, who spends more money? If you look at these budget reports, we know that Dimitri spends more money. Because Dimitri, okay, he just spent seventeen hundred dollars on one tooth in his mouth, and he just be costing a lot of money. He hurts himself a lot. Y'all don't even know. Angelique knows because I be sending Angelique because she she works in the hospital. I be sending Angelique Gracias, so many Angelique. pictures for like two years Thank now. Thank you. On, on these little things that he does. Shout out to Angelique and Sprain Nelson. Sprained ankle, hot oil burns, scrapes, right from when you fell and rolled. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. What are other things you do? The that's tooth it. was the yeah, other Yeah, but one. that's it. There was more. Angelique, no, 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 leave them down below. <laughs> <laughs> and if we would have went to the hospital for those, which we didn't, Dimitri self-healed for all of those. Yo, there could actually be a story time on your channel for that. Yeah. There could. But I am How many injuries have gone? That I have actually um, cost more money because the van was my idea. And you could never. Oh, your that's medical right. bills could never that's touch right. the house of that van. But is. the thing is, I kind of wanted it too. Yeah. After I convinced you of it. Yeah, so it's yeah. kind of mine too. So you know what? This is why I say this. Okay, I'm going to say this. It's, it's this for all of them. It's both. It's this. I still think I still think it's me. It's me. Not working. It's me. Okay, so um, who likes to shop more? I'm not even picking it up. I'm not even picking it up. If, if y'all know me, y'all know I hate shopping. It's such an unenjoyable experience. It's so stressful to make decisions. You know what the thing is, though? I think this question needs to and be rephrased. And I don't like spending money because in my fourth house, in my astrological chart, it says that I'm tight with money. Okay, and I do like wasting money. I got that. Yeah. But I would, I would say this, whereas, like, let's say if we're both looking, I don't know, for a colander or something, right? I'll look at the top rated colanders and I'll look at the cheapest colander and I'll make I a hate decision. I you're saying that. You're saying it like colon. How, colander? Colander? A strainer. I look at the strainers. I look at the the best viewed ones, and I look at the cheapest ones, and then I'll just pick a couple based off of that, and then I'll make my choice based on a, a number a bunch of different things, right? But Jesse will sift through like five, Sip. ten, fifteen, a hundred pages of strainers to find one, and then she'll ruminate on those for a week, a month, six months, and then maybe if she still wants it. I'm feeling attacked. She'll start it over I'm again. I'm feeling so attacked. She'll start it over happy. again. And she'll do it again. So I don't know if this is a question per se of who enjoys shopping more, but who does, who spends a lot of time shopping it more. It says you, who likes to shop more. Okay. All right. Well, you, do you, like you shop. Shopping? Maybe. Dimitri. Dimitri maybe. likes to shop. Yeah, okay. Maybe I do like shopping Who more. shops more? Me, because I don't yeah. trust your decision. Ha, <laughs> ha. We're gonna end it with this because this video is getting really long and there's a lot of questions here. I thought this was a juicy one, honey. The next question is, who gave who the first kiss? Cause I ain't bold, right? Well, no, I mean, uh, you you kind of initiated us even talking and getting together. And actually, if you want to find out how we actually got together, it was pretty funny. I was actually coerced into this relationship if you want to find out how you could ask us in the comments below she didn't really coerce me it was actually kind of cute but i kind of had to make a life decision to see if like we were going to Boy, date or not because i was stringing her along i was stringing her along for how long it was like two months <laughs> it was about two months <laughs> right? a short amount of time right yeah but when you're 17 you're telling the whole story oh yeah okay all right i will so tell the whole Dimitri story kissed me first yes it was also up. I had like this attic space. It was like a really cool room. 
right? And we were dancing to some kind of like emo music that I can't remember right now. And then I just held her and then I just kissed her. And it was amazing. And then I got kissed back, which was equally <laughs> amazing. Why are you slowing down? You're not a poet right now. Okay, this is my channel. <sighs> it was beautiful. <laughs> It was nice. <laughs> that was the first time we kissed. Yeah. Yeah. And ten years later, in the middle of the summer. Ooh, I know what we could do. Instead of doing that heart thing from one of those other videos, drop one of like the pick and locks at the bottom. Yeah, a, like a lock. A key and heart. A key I mean, and a heart. Key and a, okay. Or a lock. Drop that in the comments if you want to hear more about our backstory. Any, anything you want to say? nothing else because this is a long video and i don't even know if you made it this far who were we even talking to at this time i don't know we might Drop be talking to ourselves key and lock word up anyways we'll see you guys all in the next video because dimitri's gonna be on my channel one more time this month right uh -huh. oh no wait no he's not but he could come back once a month if I you could. want and you can Every request what you want to see yeah right because you like my channel yeah like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next class peace that's my channel peace peace